how to create landing pages in Kajabi that convert. This is what this video is going to be all about. I'm going to be showing you the three main ingredients of high performing landing pages that actually convert your visitors into leads. Now, if you're thinking about starting your own online business or if you've already started your own online business and you're building out your website and your landing pages, especially if you're using Kajabi, stick with me here because I'm going to be going through everything you need to actually get your high converting landing pages all set up and running. So hey there, Tim Peekman here and I have built multiple online businesses and I help my clients build their online businesses out using a platform of choice for me called Kajabi. It is super simple. It's an all-in-one platform. I'm going to be showing you in this video how to build out those landing pages. And I'm going to dive straight on into my Kajabi account and show you around. So here I am inside my Kajabi and the first element that you're going to need to build out, the first of these three elements is a form. You're going to need to build out a form to actually deliver the thing that you promised in the first place. A landing page is simply a page on your website where somebody comes to visit and lands on your page and you want them to do something. You want them to take action. And the best course of action for any newcomer onto your website is to try and offer them something for free in exchange for their email address. And the best way to do this is by the use of forms and landing pages and anything that you would deem value to your audience for free. For example, a free video, a free guide, a, a downloadable PDF. To keep it super simple, I would recommend sticking with something like a downloadable PDF. So design a PDF or a guide, make it super useful for your audience and that you understand that they'll get benefit from and then pitch this as part of your lead magnet and a free PDF guide will be the thing that you deliver to your audience. And the way that we do that inside of Kajabi is by the use of forms. So I'm not going to show you how to build out a PDF. All you need to do in if you're using a Word doc or if you're using Google Docs, just build out that Google Doc and then export it as a PDF. So I've got a PDF on my desktop ready to go so I can show you with this form. So inside Kajabi, just from your dashboard, hit the marketing tab and then go on to forms and then click new form. Now, all you need to do here, once the form is loaded up, I'm just going to put landing. So this is going to be a, a test test landing page form that I'm just going to save and embed it into here. So then the first thing you know is you've got the options of double opt-in, which is recommended by Kajabi or single opt-in. Now this is totally up to you as the business owner and where you actually operate. I actually use single opt-ins. I don't use the double opt-in. Double opt-in just mainly means that they're going to have to opt into the form and then go and check their email to then either tick a box or opt in again, a double opt in. So they're actually giving you the authorization to actually email them. I use a single opt in and I'll show you how I use a single opt in when we come to the actual landing page. Next we have form fields and I take my lead from Google. I have a look at the actual Google landing page. Now this is actually, as a side note, this is the most visited website in, in the world, on the planet. And as you can see, it's very, very, it's not cluttered. It's very simple. So less is definitely more. Now there is no question to whoever lands on this landing page, this is it, it's a simple landing page, what they have to do. There is only one search bar. There is only one area where they can input text. So I take my lead from landing pages just using simplified fields. So I would actually just say, you don't really need a name you're just trying to collect their email. So take out the name and all you need is that email. So again, it's going to convert higher if there's less forms or less fields in that form to fill out. Then scroll down to automations. And this is really important. So when somebody opts in or gives their email address over to this form, then use the form automations to actually deliver the thing in the first place. So for your example, you've got your PDF guide actually add an automation say then once this form is filled send an email so kajabi are pretty good they give you um, text that you can actually uh, start to use from the get-go and then i would just say uh, whatever your name in here and then i would probably add in here say 
I want to attach or upload a form. So I'm going to just go and grab a form that I had. There's a form here that I've just put on my on my desktop. I'm just going to upload and give you an example of how to deliver your PDF in this form. So once it's delivered, uh, once it's uploaded, it's going to give you um, a download now button and the, the target, I would probably say new window, and it's going to save it on uh, their Amazon AWS uh, online cloud folders. So all you have is download now. I would probably like bold it. And again, this is your email to your customers or your audience. So you should tailor this to them. So, hey, thanks for uh, opting, opting in to my free guide. Here it is. Just click the download button. And then all you need to do, you can preview this in browser. And then as this comes here, you can just have a look, see where it is. Click the download now just to make sure that it works, that it's uploaded successfully. And this is actually an example of a free PDF guide that I give, five-step system to generate an online revenue stream. So once you're happy with uh, how the email actually looks, you can either send a test email to yourself or if you're happy with previewing it in browser, I probably would recommend sending a test email to yourself anyway. Uh, and just make sure it's here. It's to the person, not to your team. You want to send this to whoever opts into this form. This is the delivery mechanism of downloading that guide that you've promised and pitched to them. So just click save. And then this is just going to save to your forms page. And then I would probably say send a notification to yourself or someone in your team. And, and that form is, is good to go. So all you need to do is click save. And then that will rest in your forms library. So it will say here form was successfully updated. So now the things that we're going to need to do is head on over to your landing pages and then actually design a landing page that embeds this form. So here I am in my website tab and all I've done is just click website and then pages. And just remember the pages are segregated into three sections, website, landing pages and funnels. You want to go to landing pages. Now I'm just going to show you how you can actually build out a new landing page. Just click new landing page. And then we're going to build this one out as an example from a blank landing page. So to get started, I'm just going to call this land. Just so uh, create, once it's actually uploaded this, what we can then do is I'm going to walk you through how to create a very, very simple landing page to actually deliver and entice your audience to actually get hold of that form. So what it's done here is it's just populated a landing page. And then I would actually look into this one section here and then edit all this out. So if you had an image of this guide or the form, you could you could actually fill it out here. But just remember, I'm going off this super simple Google landing page. And if this is the most visited website in the world, there's a reason they are actually designing it like this. So less is definitely more in this example. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to delete this block here. So you can just delete that block. So all we have here is a main section and then some text. What I want to do now is add a form. So I'm just going to click form. So it's added a form just under that main text. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more text here just to reassure anyone that landing on this page that they're in the right place. So here I'm just going to go uh, free PDF free PDF guide and then I'm going to get rid of the rest. As you can see, I'm working on this block here. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this like a, a header three. So I make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to maybe reduce the block a little bit to four and then background. I'm just going to go desktop layout. I'm going to put it in the middle and then I'm going to place this block on its own row. So I'm into I'm in this section now, I'm going to come back out and then I'm going to put this text right to the top. Now, just remember, no one is going to stumble across this landing page. It's really important that you actually have a landing page that's easy to say and easy to spell. So you can actually, when you give away a, a free guide, it's really easy for you to say, head over to your website forward slash then your landing page. So for here, I would probably just put this as forward slash guide or a, a short descriptor of exactly what they're going to get. So for here, I would actually explain in the actual header to all the tools you need to build a successful online business. If that was the thing, I would probably, uh, if I was going to give them all the tools to build a successful online business, that would be perfect. 
If it's something else, you need to give them an explainer in this header so they know they are exactly in the right place and they're going to get the thing that they opted into. So I'm just going to leave it for there uh, like that for now. But then the form, what we need to do is we need to select the form that we've just um, just built out that actually delivers the PDF. So a landing test. So that form is just going to pull through. So thank you page, you can actually design another landing page as a thank you page, or you can use the default thank you page. But it's actually quite a good strategy to either offer them something else or give them another call to action for those that have opted into this form. And that is outside of the scope of this video, but I will do another video on landing page strategies. Then you can actually send them to a different URL or you can actually send them to Facebook, YouTube or uh, continue the conversation somewhere else. So for the text, I'm just going to actually make this a little bit uh, more narrow. So I'm going to probably go uh, making sure that it's on its own row again so it doesn't mess this up. Uh, I'm probably going to go five. And for the call to action, I'm just going to make it really, really simple for them. So uh, input. Uh, no, let's go for where would you like us to send your guide? So all you're doing is asking them, where would you like us to send the, your guide? That's it. And then in the small print, I would put something like simply enter your best email and click submit. Something like that. Again, keeping it really simple, taking the lead from Google. You want this page to be super, super simple. And then for submit, I'm going to probably put some branding on this. So I'm going to put a light blue. I'm going to go for maybe full width, uh, solid, and then I'm going to go large. So they know exactly where they need to click and the actual form field, they know exactly what they need to put in. So I'm just going to save that for now. looks a bit boring. So what I would do is I would put um, either a background that is in keeping with your brand or if you don't really um, have that much, I would recommend a free site like unsplash.com where you could put a uh, desktop or something like that. And any of these that you like the look of, you could just put in um, a very minimal background here. So I'm, I'm going to put this one in here, download for free. And then you download this to your desktop. And then once you go back into Kajabi, you're going to upload this, click on the background. And what you're going to do is select an image, upload a new file and then choose this file that's just dropped to your desktop. So I'm going to just click save. Then what I'm going to do is wait for that to upload and then have a play, a play around with it just to see what looks best. So at the moment, if you can't see anything, you might need to select the image from this drop down here. So it's not showing anything. Select the image and then click save. And again, one thing I would do was probably click on the image and then on the desktop layout again, I would probably make this section the full height. And then again, you can play around with it. If you click on the image, uh, look at the background, click on the black background color. And if you wanted to fade any of this out, so let me just scroll down a bit. And then here, if you wanted to give it, say like a grayscale, and then maybe the transparency bar just under the actual color bar, you can uh, click and drag. So that actually looks looks pretty decent. Um, and that also makes the, the field of the form pop out. So it knows exactly where you should actually uh, put that in. So, so you could have like 25% here. That actually looks quite nice. I'm going to save that. And then I'm just going to click preview. So once you preview this landing page, notice here I haven't used any headers or footers on this landing page. And by default, this actually makes this landing page into a squeeze page and the definition of a squeeze page is basically meaning if anyone lands on this page they either have one option to either enter their email or leave the page that's it so you want to try and entice them to enter their email to get the free guide or actually simply navigate away if there were more buttons on this page again thinking back to the google example less is more they could actually navigate back to the home page they could actually click on your contact page so what we want to do in this landing page to make it a squeeze page is to focus on simplicity, one call to action. So that looks pretty decent to me. I would, I would, the last thing I would probably do is click on the form and then a disclaimer text. So just remember we've gone with the single opt-in form. So we need to inform 
somebody who is giving us their email that we're actually going to be following up with them with more email. So um, when you sign up, we will send you weekly bonus emails or words to that effect. So you've got something that is in the disclaimer text. So if I save that and then preview this, it's actually informing them very subtly that uh, that hasn't saved. So I'll click save again and then preview. So there you go. It's quite subtle. When you sign up, we'll be sending you weekly bonus emails. That's all you have to say. Um, and that's all you have to do to get around that double opt-in. And it just means that you're going to get a higher percentage of people opting into this. And just remember the form is actually going to deliver the guide. So in theory, you're going to get a higher percentage of email opt-ins, but you could actually receive some spam emails. So just make sure that you clean your list every 90 days just to check that there's no hard bounced or there's no spam emails in your inbox. So that's pretty much it. I would just double check that what you've actually put on is published and also have a look at the mobile version. So here, I would just have a quick look at this. The only thing I would change here is the free PDF guide. I would just go mobile layout. I would just click that to central and then click save. And then you can see this is exactly how I would expect it to present on a mobile and actually type that into your actual mobile yourself or your, your cell phone and have a look, see how it presents. And it's stupidly obvious that there is one field here that you want people to opt into. There is no confusion. So going back to the web page then, I've put it full height. I've made it nice and big. I've keep it. I've kept my messaging super clear that hey, if you want this free guide, you have to pay with your email. So all that's left to do is if you were to come back out of this landing page, I would just go into the settings and edit the details of this landing page. And so here you know the URL. So my URL is timpeatman.com forward slash land. So I'm going to be deleting this at the end of this video. But if this was to be a live uh, landing page or a live squeeze page, I would be saying to people, go to timpeatman.com forward slash land to get your free whatever it is. So just make sure that you copy that URL and you actually say that URL and promote that URL because just remember, no one's going to be finding this and discovering it. You have to openly and overtly promote this stuff to your audience on a regular basis. So the last thing that I would do then is I would just navigate, I would actually use that URL, type it into your search bar, navigate to this landing page, and then type in your email. Actually have a test, see if you actually receive the email, and better yet, if you receive the email with the, with the link to the free guide, and that actually works. So you're looking at the deliverability of the form and the guide, and you're looking at how simple that landing page is to set up. So hopefully that helps, that is a whistle stop tour on how to the, the three main factors of a landing page, the three ingredients are the actual thing that you're going to be delivering, a free PDF guide, the actual landing page and its, itself, and then the form in the delivery mechanism, setting up an automation to send them that email. So if you found any of this helpful, I have actually got a free gift for you. If you are interested in using a platform like Kajabi to actually start and grow your online business, if you, even if you have started, your online business is easy to transfer over to. You can access Kajabi through my link, timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi. I can get you 30 days a free trial of this platform and I can grant you a free course that I've actually built inside Kajabi. It's called Kajabi Unboxed and it showcases exactly what you need to do first, second, third and fourth and fifth to actually set up your Kajabi account to actually get a product up and running and how to put that offer out to your audience. And it full disclaimer, it is an affiliate link. And if you continue to be a paying member of Kajabi, a small part of your payment will come back in support of my channel in order to help me as a thank you. And if you do continue to be a paying member of Kajabi, I'd like to say an additional thank you by offering you another product. This is my sales page template product. It's exactly the sales pages that I use in my business. As a cool feature within Kajabi, you can simply download it and upload it into your Kajabi account as a theme. And I've got guides and walkthroughs on how to set up your sales page template so you can actually get the highest conversion possible. So head over to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi to start your 30 day free trial and receive some awesome bonuses from me. And I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.